pineapple production spans 18 to 24 months from planting to picking. These tropical fruits are carefully tended until ripe, then harvested by hand. Afterward, they're processed, decrowned, peeled, and cored before being packaged for shipping. This journey ensures the sweet, tangy pineapples reach your table fresh and ready to enjoy. Corn production involves planting seeds in spring, growing under the sun and rain, and pollinating in summer to develop ears. By late summer or fall, the mature corn is harvested, ready to be enjoyed as corn on the cob or processed into products like popcorn and cornmeal. This cycle from seed to harvest brings the golden kernels to our tables. Tomato production process tomatoes need plenty of sunlight and water as they grow, and they also need regular care to protect them from pests and diseases. Pollination is very important and leads to the development of fruits, often with the help of bees. Once tomatoes are ripe, they are harvested by hand or machine, depending on their end use, fresh market or processing. Harvested tomatoes can then be sold fresh or processed into products such as sauces, juice, or canned tomatoes. The journey of passion fruit from vine to table involves several key steps. Initially, the fruit is harvested at peak ripeness to capture its unique tangy flavor. After harvesting, each passion fruit undergoes a thorough cleaning process to ensure it's free from any field residue. The next phase involves slicing the fruit open to access the treasure within, the aromatic pulp and seeds. This pulp is versatile, it can be directly packaged for fresh consumption or further processed. Olive production begins with growing olive trees, which take years to bear fruit. When mature, olives are harvested and then sorted and washed. For table olives, they're cured to remove bitterness. For olive oil, they're pressed to extract the oil, which is then purified. This process from tree to table or oil bottle showcases the careful steps taken to ensure quality olives and olive oil reach you.
The journey of strawberries from seed to snack involves planting them in sunny, fertile spots where they're nurtured and mulched for optimal growth. With spring's arrival, blossoms get pollinated, mostly thanks to busy bees, setting the stage for fruit development. Harvest time sees these juicy gems delicately hand-picked, chiefly in cooler morning hours, to preserve their peak flavor and freshness. Post-harvest, the strawberries are swiftly cooled, sorted to weed out any less-than-perfect ones, and packaged, all set to deliver a burst of sweetness to your taste buds. Watermelon production kicks off with planting seeds or seedlings in warm, fertile soil, making sure they get plenty of sunlight and space to spread out. As the plants grow, they require careful watering and protection from pests. Pollination by bees is crucial for developing the fruit, which then grows until it reaches the right size and sweetness. Farmers check for ripeness by tapping the watermelons for a hollow sound. Once ripe, watermelons are harvested by hand, cooled to maintain freshness, and quickly transported to markets. This process ensures that juicy, sweet watermelons make their way from the farm to your summer table. The potato's journey starts with planting seed potatoes in nutrient-rich soil, followed by careful tending, including watering and pest management. Harvested in summer or fall, depending on the variety, potatoes are then dug up, sorted, and cleaned. Finally, they're stored in cool conditions before being shipped out, ready to be turned into your favorite dishes. This process ensures the tasty and versatile potatoes reach your plate in perfect condition. Perfect. 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 Carrot harvesters are special agricultural machinery designed to harvest carrots from the ground efficiently and quickly. They use cutting tools to remove carrot tops and conveyor systems to lift and collect harvested carrots. These machines save time, reduce manual labor, and guarantee the quality of the carrots harvested. Fennel Harvester is agricultural machinery designed to harvest fennel plants in the field efficiently and quickly. These machines use special cutting tools and conveyor systems to cut and collect the fennel stalks. The Fennel Harvester simplifies the harvesting process, reduces manual labor, and ensures the quality of the harvested fennel. The cabbage harvesting process involves cutting the ripened heads of cabbage. Slaughter is usually done using sharp knives or special harvesters. The harvested cabbages are then sorted, sorted by quality and packaged and sent to markets or processing plants. Modern technology has increased the efficiency of the process and guaranteed freshness and quality.
The green pepper harvesting process involves collecting ripe green peppers from plants, sorting, cleaning, and packaging them for distribution to markets or processing plants. Depending on the scale and location of the farm, mechanized or manual methods are used for harvesting. The aim is to ensure that the peppers are fresh and in good condition for consumers. Cherry harvesting process begins when the cherries reach their optimal ripeness on the trees. Workers carefully handpick the ripe cherries to avoid damage. In larger commercial orchards, mechanical shakers are used to gently shake the trees, causing the cherries to fall onto catching frames or nets below. After harvesting, the cherries are transported to packing facilities, where they undergo sorting and grading to remove any damaged or unripe fruits. The cherries are then packaged and cooled to preserve their freshness before being distributed to markets or processed for various products. Pear harvesting typically takes place in late summer or early autumn when the pears are fully mature. Skilled workers carefully handpick the pears from the trees to prevent damage. The harvested pears are sorted, graded, and packaged for distribution to markets or processing facilities. Proper handling is essential to maintain the pears' quality for fresh consumption or processing into various products. Mango production and harvesting includes planting mango trees in orchards, pollinating flowers for fruit formation, and hand-picking ripe mangoes. After sorting and packaging, the mangoes are transported for local or international markets. Some mangoes are processed into various products such as pulp, juice, or dried slices. Careful planning and handling is essential for successful mango production. Bean production involves several stages, starting with land preparation and planting of bean seeds. The plants require proper irrigation, fertilization, and pest control during their growth period. Once the bean pods mature, they are carefully harvested to avoid damage. The harvested beans are then sorted, cleaned, and processed for storage or immediate sale. Bean production is a crucial agricultural practice, and different varieties of beans are cultivated worldwide for their nutritional value and versatility in various cuisines. Onion farming typically involves several steps, including site selection, soil preparation, planting, cultivation, and harvesting. Next, farmers prepare the soil for planting by tilling, fertilizing, and amending as needed. Onions require a nutrient-rich soil that is high in organic matter, so farmers often add compost, manure, or other organic amendments to improve soil quality.
Peanuts are harvested in several stages. The first stage involves determining when the peanuts are ready to be harvested. Peanuts are usually ready to be harvested when the plants begin to yellow and the leaves start to fall off. At this point, the peanuts have matured and are ready to be removed from the ground. The second stage of the harvest process involves removing the peanuts from the ground. Farmers typically use a special machine called the peanut digger to lift the plants out of the soil. The peanut digger loosens the soil around the plants and lifts them out of the ground, leaving the peanuts attached to the plant. We're talking about how mangoes are grown. First, farmers choose a warm and well-drained site for planting. Then, they take care of the trees by watering, pruning, and using pesticides to protect them from pests and diseases. After a few years, the mangoes are ready to be harvested, sorted, and packed for sale. Parsley production involves several stages, starting with site selection and land preparation. Farmers plant parsley seeds or seedlings and take care of the plants by providing water, fertilizer, and pest control. Once the parsley is mature, it is harvested and sorted for quality before being packaged and shipped to market. Technology has also been playing an increasingly important role in parsley production, with precision agriculture techniques and greenhouse technology being used to optimize growth and increase yields. Technology can also play an important role in eggplant production. For example, precision agriculture techniques, such as soil testing and remote sensing, can help farmers monitor and optimize crop growth, leading to higher yields and better quality eggplants. In addition, greenhouse technology can be used to grow eggplants year-round in a controlled environment, which can be especially useful in regions with harsh climates or limited land availability. The AMB Rousset X16 Harvester is designed to collect large quantities of fallen nuts, nuts, and other fruits. It is equipped with a dual cleaning system, blower, and vibrating grill to remove debris such as twigs and grass. It is also equipped with a blower that cleans the fallen fruit from the tree area.
SAMI 4.0, a robot used in Quebec, is a device designed to assist in the harvesting process of agricultural products. This robot has been developed to automatically collect fruit, vegetables, or other agricultural products. By making the harvesting process more efficient, robots can reduce reliance on manpower and provide a more homogeneous and precise harvesting process. However, the latest information on this is those until 2021. A device with 23 PS and a working width of 100 cm with correspondingly more additional seed rotors. It is equipped with a 700L bunker with an overloading height of 2.50 M. This device is always equipped with all-wheel drive. Hydraulic radial piston motors provide very good driving power in inclined positions. This fruit harvester or fruit harvester can easily harvest 1,000 to 2,000 tons of juice, making it suitable for true professionals. Thanks to its large wheels, the OB100A provides good lateral stability on slopes. The 9990 is a self-propelled peanut harvester. This type of machine is used to harvest peanuts and is self-propelled in the field. It ensures efficient harvesting, reducing labor costs, and playing an important role in the agricultural sector. The Plucotrack Jr. is a compact harvesting aid designed for driving distances of 8.3 to 15 feet, 2.50 to 4.50 meters, and tree heights up to 13 feet, 4 meters. The Agile Plucotrack Jr. harvesting plant has been developed to operate in rough, sandy, and rocky conditions just like Senior. This combined meets the highest quality requirements. Four to six harvesters can start from the ground and on two platforms simultaneously. The fruits are placed on four conveyor belts, optional, six conveyor belts. When connecting one box carrier, up to 16 boxes can be taken together. Tube line Accumulate saves producers time for one of the farmer's biggest jobs. Accumulate is your solution to transport bales efficiently, saving you time and manpower. You can now process 8, 10, or 12 bales at a time. This allows one to quickly collect and load wagons or road trailers. Keep your farm running efficiently with the addition of tube line Accumulate. The mechanical design of the Accumulate does not require external hydraulic, PTO, or electrical connections. Each bale triggers a series of switches that direct the next bale to the appropriate location and release the entire package when full. Butternut Squash Harvester is agricultural tool. It is used to harvest ripe butternut squash efficiently. It speeds up the harvesting process, reduces labor costs, and preserves quality. It provides great convenience to farmers and makes agricultural production efficient.
In our first video, you will see the production process of the coke. Coconuts are distinct from other fruits because their endosperm contains a large quantity of clear liquid called coconut water or coconut juice. Mature, ripe coconuts can be used as edible seeds or processed for oil and plant milk from the flesh, charcoal from the hard shell, and coir from the fibrous husk. Asparagus is a perennial plant species that can yield more than 15 years. The white and green shoots of asparagus, which is considered a gourmet product with a high market value and workmanship, can be offered to the market as fresh. At the same time, asparagus is an industrial product that can be processed both canned and frozen. These people produce apples even in the cold. According to statistics, world apple production is approximately 41 million tons slash year. Centuries of natural selection in apple cultivars coincidence they were formed by seedlings and spontaneous mutations. This in today's modern apple cultivation, quality and quality improvement is achieved through hybridization breeding. Very superior varieties were obtained in terms of yield. Having helped to cultivate indoor crops for thousands of years, it's safe to say this age-old growing technique will be around for a few years yet. Thanks to advances in technology, the humble glasshouse can now be transformed into a precisely controlled growing environment that farmers can rely on to achieve improved yields and profits. In this video, we'll be discussing the white radish harvesting process. We'll be using a modern radish harvesting machine to demonstrate the process. If you're looking to grow Japanese radish or modern radish for your garden, then this video is for you. We'll discuss the white radish harvesting process and how to grow Japanese radish using a modern radish harvesting machine.
Coco is a tropical evergreen plant native to South America and now widely cultivated in Africa, Southeast Asia, and Latin America. Cultivation from seeds, branches, or saplings. The coco tree can reach up to 15 meters in height, with broad leaves and flowers directly clustered on the branches, white, and the calyx is pink, about 1 centimeter in diameter. The fruit ripening period is 4 to 6 months, twice a year. The main harvest period is October to December. The fruit is pot-shaped, 15 to 30 centimeters long, green on the outside, and has 20 to 100 seeds inside. After harvesting, it takes a few days to ferment, turning the interior reddish-brown and producing a strong aroma, then the pulp is removed and the cocoa beans are removed. Brazil nuts are the seeds of Berthalicia excelsa, a tree that grows almost exclusively in the wild of the Amazonian forest. Several areas of production are located in Bolivia, Brazil, and Peru, Bolivia being the first producer and exporter of the nut. In this video, we'll take a look at the process of producing lychee fruit. The lychee is a tropical tree that grows in warm climates and is prized for its sweet and juicy fruit. The tree starts to bear fruit after four to six years of growth and continues to produce for several decades. First, the trees are irrigated and fertilized to promote healthy growth and abundant fruit production. The lychee fruit grows on long stems and is hand-picked when it reaches maturity. The fruit is then sorted, cleaned, and packed for distribution to markets around the world. Just like lychee, the longan tree starts to bear fruit after four to six years of growth and continues to produce for several decades. The trees are irrigated and fertilized to promote healthy growth and abundant fruit production. The longan fruit grows in clusters and is handpicked when it reaches maturity. After being harvested, the fruit is sorted, cleaned, and packed for distribution to markets around the world. Rambutan is a tropical fruit that is native to Southeast Asia. The fruit is produced on a tree that can grow up to 66 feet tall. 
The rambutan tree blooms with delicate white flowers that eventually give way to the fruit. Harvesting rambutan fruit is done by hand, as the fruit is too delicate to be harvested by machine. Once harvested, the fruit is sorted and cleaned before being packaged for distribution. The production of rambutan involves proper care and maintenance of the tree, as well as proper harvesting techniques. With these steps, rambutan fruit can be produced in abundance, providing a delicious and healthy option for fruit lovers. Coconuts are a versatile and delicious fruit that are produced by coconut trees. These trees are native to the coastal regions of the tropics and are widely cultivated for their fruit. The production of coconuts starts with pollination, which can be done naturally by wind and insects, or manually by farmers. Once the flowers are pollinated, it takes about a year for the coconut to fully mature. When the coconut is ready to be harvested, it is plucked from the tree by hand. The coconut is then husked and the inner meat is extracted, which can be used for food, oil, or other products. Now we're going to show you the process of producing snowberry, a popular and delicious fruit. First, the snowberry plants are grown in fertile soil and carefully tended to by farmers. Next, the ripe snowberries are harvested by hand, making sure to only pick the fully matured fruits. Then, the snowberries are sorted, washed, and packaged to ensure their freshness and quality. And that's it. With simple steps, snowberry goes from the farm to your table. We hope you enjoyed this brief look at how snowberry is produced. In this video, we'll show you the process of producing mini kiwis. First, the mini kiwi plants are grown and carefully tended in fertile soil by farmers. Once the mini kiwis are ripe, they are carefully harvested by hand to maintain their delicate skin. Next, they are sorted, washed, and packaged to ensure their freshness and quality. And that's it. With these simple steps, mini kiwis go from the farm to your table. We hope you found this brief look at how mini kiwis are produced informative.